How's it going Habs fans? My name is Zach and welcome to Habs and 5 Draft Lottery Edition. I'm going to be talking about my predictions going into the draft, what the Habs team is going to be look like going into the future, and what we are going to be looking for going into the draft. The Montreal Canadiens were appointed the 15th overall pick. Uh, we didn't move up in the draft from the lottery, but what did we really expect with that 1% chance? Looking at what we need going into the draft, um, it's glaringly obvious that our depth for the right wing is the weakness in our forwards, and our prospect pool only has one top-ish prospect in Jesse Ulonen for the right wing. Similar to our right wing situation, our left defense is definitely a lot weaker than our right defense and our prospect pool is just about the same. Our only massive prospect in the left defense category is Alexander Romanov and there's no guarantee that he's even going to come over from the KHL so I think it'll be beneficial if even if not in the first round, we pick up some left defense prospects in this draft. Looking at prospects that are projected to go somewhere around number 15 in the right wing category, we're looking at three names in particular, one being Arthur Kaliev, but I expect that he'll probably get taken before 15. Cole Caulfield is also going to be next. He's been dubbed one of, if not then, the best all-out goal scorer in North America for prospects. Uh, but his size is going to deter most teams from taking him. At only five foot seven, he lacks size and strength, but he makes up for it in his goal scoring talent. He will be a bit of a risky pick, uh, but he'll probably end up turning out into a great player as the way that the NHL is currently going. But I don't think he's going to get taken by the Montreal Canadiens if we're going to be taking a right wing. I think we will be taking the big right wing French Canadian Raphael Lavoie. Lavoie stands at about 6 foot 5, 200 pounds. He is a very big frame and will have no problem transitioning into the NHL. He also carries an NHL caliber shot that should help him uh, transfer his game from the juniors into the professional league. The young prospect shouldn't have a hard time adjusting as he's been described as a power forward who has a great way of controlling the game from either center as before this season he was protected as a centerman or the right wing where he has played for the entirety of the season in the QMJHL. He has a great way of controlling the game and he has awesome forechecking power because of his size and his foot speed is actually pretty decent considering his size. He'll bring pretty good utility and he's very diverse as he will be able to take some draws and he's very skilled from the right wing as well. Um, again, he's got a great shot, he's got great eyes, and I would think he'll fit really well into the team dynamic. That is, if we can get him in the draft. Although I doubt we will be taking our left defenseman in the first round, I think we'll probably take either one or two in the second round as we have two draft picks. Uh, there are two names that come to mind for potential players that we could draft around number 15. One of them being the 5'11 defender Cam York, who is a USA-born player and has been kind of sort of described as a Jake Gardner kind of player. Uh, he takes some risks offensively, which sometimes pan out and sometimes don't, uh, but he's great moving forward, and he's a great utility player on the power play. Next up is Philip Broberg, a more notable name as he's been around the number 10 spot for most of the uh, most of the projected year, but um, he's actually fallen a bit. He's projected to go about 18, so he'll probably be around by the time our 15th pick comes, but I just don't see us taking our left defender here. Uh, for me, it makes a lot more sense to go for the right winger. Broberg had a great showing in the Helenka Gretzky Cup, and he's been playing in the Allsvenskan for the whole season, so he's been playing with the men in the men's league, and he's a very good all-around defender. He's also got good size, standing at six foot two, 200 pounds behind him. He's a great all-around shutdown guy, and he can move the puck forward pretty decently as well. He'll be a great pickup for a team in the mid to late first round, but... I don't think it's going to be a Montreal pick. My official prediction is going to be Raphael Lavoie. I, I think he'll fit great into our team dynamic, and moving forward, we have a lot of young players that are going to be moving into our squad, especially next year with the addition of Ryan Paling and Nick Suzuki forward. And even defensively, I could see a couple players making the jump, uh, possibly Brooke, possibly Fleury. Um, we're going to have a lot of young kids next year, and I think bringing in Lavoie will give us some more power if he doesn't make the season next year, especially the season after. And that big six foot five frame will fit really well into the skilled, kind of gritty um, offensive play that we've seen from the Canadians all year round. When it comes down to it, we have to remember that our team is going through a process. It's been a process for a little bit now. 
Uh, especially the year that we struggled in order to get Kakanyemi. He has turned out great for us, and I expect big things from him next year. But, uh, again, it's all a process. If Lavoie doesn't make, or whoever we draft doesn't make the team next year, it's not time to panic. They're still young. There's time for them to grow. It's all a process. I'm going to be wrapping up this video here. I'm going to be having a new video coming out very shortly. I'm going to be starting a new series for the offseason called Who Is, where I go in depth on one of the prospects for the Montreal Canadiens talking about how they've gotten to the point that they are now, and what we can expect from them moving forward. The first episode, I'm going to give a little bit of a teaser, is going to be on Nick Suzuki. Stay tuned for that video, it should be coming in about a week or so. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, tell me what you thought, and turn on the bell for post notifications so you never miss an upload. And I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.